I am pretty excited about today's video and today's recording, and um, you must be excited as well. <laughs> yeah, tell us about uh, what we want to record, what is the history, so, story behind it? So the story behind this today's recording is we recorded our last video uh, regarding AI features in Power Pages, and we got a, feed, a very good feedback and new followers, and uh, then we posted this um, the video on LinkedIn. We got uh, one of the mm, <laughs> one of the person uh, reached out on LinkedIn, and uh, he's a part of, uh, as I understand, is part of the Microsoft team, uh, the Microsoft software engineer, and he gave us an amazing tip, which we're dying to try today. And uh, this tip is. I don't think we should tell you straight away actually what what this tip is, but it's definitely AI related and it's VS Code uh, Power Pages Copilot related tip. So I think maybe you will um, talk a more about uh, before and after <laughs> how we did it before <laughs> and what we did differently this time. So um, let's just um, let's just start start this whole video, shall we? Thank you so much, Alina. Um, this is related to one of the features that we uh, showed in a previous video. We will link the video somewhere. Um, and the way that we demoed in there, um, um, we get a really good advice from uh, Ashish. Um, and we try. We want to show how that tips works. It's pretty exciting to me. Let's uh, see. Let's see how it works before. So let me come to um, this website which we built from our previous video and if you haven't watched it, it's fine this page is a contact us page containing a form with an entity called contact us and which is generated by ai and uh, in our pre previous video we uh, generate the script for uh, we open visual studio um, vs code online and then we come to web pages come to contact us come to the um, contact us JS code section, and then we use um, Power Pages, Copilot for Power Pages to generate this validation from our previous video. And in that video, we were using the um, tips, using the trick to um, inspect the DOM elements to get the actual field of this, um, to, act, to, to get the actual schema name of this field to generate the code. Um, and the, the um, let's try with a different way of using the advice that we uh, get. So Abby, how did we generate it previously? Do you remember what did we select or we just did it in... in, in yeah, we how we generated before is basically we say, um, give us, um, help us generate a GS validation call or phone number. And you see that when I'm in the context of um, web page. Uh, you mentioned the Australian format for the... Yes, oh yes, <laughs> it's not exactly the same. Yeah. Um, you see the controls to validate here is phone number. It is generic, right? It's it yeah. It's a it's because in this context, um, VS Code, um, um, a copilot does not know what is the form field name, and we went into inspect elements, or we can go with the through Maker's portal for, to find what is this name, and yeah. then we yeah. we regenerate the message using. Uh, using the field name in there. Um, but there is an easier way to do this, right? The right yes. the right way to do this. <laughs> yes. So uh, for each page, um, this is what we see for each page. We uh, Each page we have um, three components. And also in, in Power Pages, we have um, lists and forms. Today, let's try both lists and form. This page we have a contact us. This page uh, we're looking at now, um, it contact us page. And also there is a form here, which is an entity form. If we go edit form, we can find what uh, which entity form this which uh, form this is. Or if we come to basic form, we can uh, find the corresponding form as well. If um, under the corresponding form, there's only one com one GS section, and if we run something similar here, do not forget to tell that it's Australian phone number. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's uh, let's do this. Help us generate the uh, code for phone number. Uh, Australian phone number, yes. I don't remember what, but the Australian phone number starting with 04, right? No, it's somehow yes. no start, I think. Uh, I let's just check. The, uh, that's a spelling, let's see. Oh, okay. Does it look no. good? Or no? <laughs> 
look at this um the the uh ID and control to valid validate it. It yeah. does. It, it does, does understand, understand the contact. It contact. does understand the contact. So the key here is that we make have to, we make sure that we come to the basic form and then um, open the corresponding JS and then we run this in the contact of, contacts of this form. Then it knows what are the fields to pick from. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Ashish, for the great tip. And Abby, can we just actually go and check it's working? Uh, Please. Let's come to the web page and make sure that we have removed our previous validation. And from here, there was a previous validation here. I will remove it, save it, to make sure it's saved. So there's no validation anymore on the page. Okay. And let's sync it. It is working. It's just not like we are doing everything right from the first <laughs> from the first time. Uh, it takes a little it's bit a of iteration. Yeah. Yes. But it's nothing to do with Copilot, guys. It's it just has, has something to do with us. Maybe it's refreshing working day. <laughs> yeah, we actually record this video after work, so. <laughs> OK, let's see if it's going to work this time. Yeah. Cannot be both, right? You you can combine it in in regex, uh, saying this or this, but you cannot really run successfully run two different validations. One yeah, is yeah. saying yeah, it should be can. all for <laughs> something, and another one saying it only has to be plus sixty one. You're gonna get a conflicting, which is actually I'm glad we did this. So it's interesting. Do not forget to remove old scripts. Yes, you can um, bind multiple validations onto a field. And if they are contradicting, then users' input will not be accepted. Yeah. So we removed the previous validation. Yeah. And this one works. It's amazing. Now. Let's just put the run a right number, submit it, and move on. Yeah. Because it's a fascinating validation, but it's time to move on. Uh, four, five. Yeah. Many four, numbers are. Four, five, three. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever. I think I hope. Yes. Yay. Yeah, it's working out. Huh? Yeah. So it's taking Australian number starting with country code. Mm -hmm. A bit slow today, I decide. Yeah. I don't know if something is going on. It's maintenance. Mm -hmm. I'm making it up. Yay. <laughs> awesome. So the, this is what? the um, when we use the copilot in the context of a form, basic form, it works. Should we try with the with the list? Yeah, what do you want to well? do? This is the current list that we have, and we turn mm -hmm. off the um, uh, AI insights. insights. Um, and maybe sometimes we do want to highlight certain things. Like um, let's say we want to um, let's open find a list and open it first. This is a list, mm -hmm. and if we go into Copilot again and simil do similar things here, and I want I want to highlight uh, rows that are with Gender cat. Oh, gender? Gender female. <laughs> gender, gender female. I want that gender. <laughs> species cat. I identify it as a cat. Do you think, do you think this would work? This is. I a, don't know. Let's just see. It's common, I think. Sometimes so we don't want to yeah. highlight certain things. And right. it does see, something. A, it yeah. does respect. So it does find the right name. Mm -hmm. I, even though I didn't check, this doesn't look like it's a name made up. It's a, okay. It's a, it's a name. It sounds, looks like the name that's generated. Okay, let's just test it. Just to trust it and test it straight away let's, without uh, any doubt. Sure. We believe in Copilot, do we? Let's <laughs> just do it. Oh, awesome. Look at Yay, that. so, that's exciting. This is uh, going through the list and then find the attributes. And if it's female and cat, it's applying a color. In, which in makes sense exactly. In, yeah, in the real yeah. world, we would probably we we, we could we would highlight something which, based on the condition when they say amount is exceeding yeah. or something like to give a warning uh, to a user that this some items are not either like overdue, right? Is a typical scenario that something yeah, is yeah. overdue, right? Yeah. In the invoice yeah. world. Um, and or even something maybe just, yeah. to transform this into an icon, things like that. It's even also possible. Yeah. Yeah. This um, I'm I'm glad that um, 
this um, it actually works um, by finding the actual the right schema name in the yes, context of list and form is saved us so much time. time. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ashish, for the yes, it's for a the wonderful tip, tip and uh, um, thanks for that and um, um and thanks for <laughs> watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs>